Cheers, and welcome, my friends. I'm Harald Duck, and we are playing Crusader Kings 2 with the new DLC, Jade Dragon. We're playing as uh, Duke, or Sheikh Hor'ath uh, of House Druck. We are the Count of Esfahan. And in the last episode, we uh, did some scheming and plotting. We killed the owner of this castle over here and have inherited it from him, which is great. I mean, we lost a valuable marshal, but... Okay, I mean, that's just how it goes. Um, we have this guy instead, rather angry dude, uh, who really doesn't like me all that much. Um, he is part of a sect um, of a different... Um, yeah, different uh, different part of our Zoroastrian religion. He's a follower of a heresy, so yeah. This guy is a republic. Leaders of regular republics are randomly chosen among the citizenry. Yeah, I guess he's a mayor. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, at some point he's he's going to lose this thing. Problem is uh, that this guy is also a heretic priest. That's a bit of a problem. He won't go for the religious conversion either. So, yeah, it's, it's uh, problematic. I could probably imprison him. Um, but we would be rather tyrannical. I mean, sometimes tyrannical um, things are actually what you need to do to get ahead. Uh, but maybe not this time. We do have a trade post over here now, uh, which is quite nice. We haven't been upgrading that one. Uh, but we do have a second castle now, so I guess uh, going for the castle town is better in this case. We're building up the castle walls over here. Uh, apparently this guy has built some stables. Um... Yeah, a lot more light cavalry in that one. That's that's fine. Um, we do have a claim on this place over there. We have the title, Revocation Allowed Law in Jibal. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Let's hope he doesn't... Yay! We have a new heir. So, you're not going to be Farhad. What are you? Are you, like, any good? Uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, you're hor... Horath, uh, the younger, at this point. Um, focus. We're gonna go with heritage. Focus on assimilating Persian culture and the Zoroastrian faith. I mean, we kind of have that already. I'm gonna make him prideful. He's gonna be haughty. Uh, actually, struggle is probably gonna best for him. Etiquette, humility. Now nah, we're gonna go for struggle here. That's probably fine. Mm. And one of the nice things that you can do is you can actually assign children a guardian uh, once they are born. Now you don't have to wait until they're six years old, which is a really nice um, feature here. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna be his guardian at some point. And you can also go for restrict marriage. So you do not currently decide who this character can marry, but we really want that for our heir. So um, so that he doesn't just marry anyone. That would not be good. Okay, yeah, my vassal died under suspicious circumstances. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. That's just bad. Why does this happen? No! I lost, an, I lost additional money. Someone is stealing my my money. She's chased. So it's actually a wonder that we even managed to get one child out of there. Did she have that when I married her? That's not great. Um, who's stealing my money? Someone is... Are you an embezzler or something? No, you're honest and content. I don't think he would steal my money. But someone is. Someone is taking my money. Why? If I'm gonna find that out, that's gonna be hell to pay. I'm telling you that much. Hey, still, again! I can hear the money sound loud and clear. Someone is taking away me money. I feel like everyone is trying to trump me. My huntsmen killed more prey than I. My counselors found a better solution to the rebellious peasants than mine, and I started to feel. That everyone was better than me, no matter what. Uh, I don't mind being kind, so... I mean, it's it's not... Yeah, okay, I'm kind. I mean, it's not great for intrigue and stuff, but envious... It's also not a good thing. Although... Stop taking my money! I'm getting really mad. Could probably start a witch hunt or something. 
This is really annoying. Let's go ahead, build that build that thing. I mean maybe I'm imagining things. Maybe it's money coming in instead of going out. But I don't think so. Eh, and he had a daughter. I actually gave him a wife, one of my courtiers. Maybe I am imagining things. I don't know. I'm going slightly crazy here. Um, I could, can I revoke your title? I can now. But I don't have the prestige. I don't have the prestige. He doesn't have any... F oh no, he has pacts now. So he has a spouse. He has another spouse. How many spouses can we have? We are we're in a gavel kind succession, so it is not really a thing. I mean, I can have lots of wives. I'm not sure I want to, <laughs> because that's gonna that's gonna cause all kinds of problems. I really like the graphics for the trade post. Okay, so castle walls have been built over here. I can build another castle town if I have enough money. No, it definitely is someone, there's someone taking my money. Okay, I have converted another courtier, that's good. Someone is usurping titles, not that I care all that much about it. Are we looking 250? I mean, it really depends on um, if this guy is on good terms with his liege lord. 15, short reign, leisure's craven. It might not be a thing. He is the heir. Yet, but uh, she might become pregnant pretty soon. Then it's going to be very difficult to pry that away from them. I can hire some of these mercenaries now. But what would that do for me? And I mean... It's not a lot of monthly cost. What are you guys? Cavalry. If I hire them like that, will they actually gain additional strength? Reinforcing with one soldier per month. Army of Dogen. Oh, these are just... These are just armies that have been started with the sons of people, I guess. Okay, then. I mean, 50 troops are better than nothing. Okay, we have the Emirate of Cairo. We really need to move, uh, make a move um, to get to the next level. Yay! Yazdegerd has been converted to the Zoroastrian faith. I really wish I could um, see who that was. Here's a Vishtab. Morteza. Beruz. No. None of them. None of them. Yeah, we just we just gotta declare war now. There's just no real way around it. I mean, at least I don't see any. I don't see any way around it. I mean, the problem is he. Yeah, those garrisons are actually not that strong. Yeah, we're gonna declare war. We're gonna claim Rai, which is Tehran. Uh, we're gonna do that, and then uh, we're just gonna raise all the troops. We're gonna be, we're gonna put you in charge, and we're gonna put you in charge. And I guess yeah, the most valuable people are already in charge. Now let's see how that goes. Yes, three hundred and sixty-three. We have six hundred and forty-six. There is a chance that we win this. We should actually be able to win this because we have two castles. Um, so hopefully we're still making good money actually even at this point come on guys they don't have all that many troops we should be able to do that and then to siege down their stuffs and that would increase our power base quite a bit quite a bit okay these guys are already pissed that I have their vassals now uh, we cannot let these guys get away they're moving towards my holdings and they probably even have Slightly enough people to, um, uh, no, just run away then. 
Let's run away. I guess we're just going to siege this place down. Now, yeah, and they have been... No, we have consumption in the place. That's not good. That is definitely not helpful. I'm going to save my money. Should pay back the stuff to the Jewish moneylenders at some point, but I also... Um, okay, we can assault. I don't think we want to assault, though. Like, we're just going to siege them down and hope that we'll be fine. That should be okay. Major Mortiza has returned to my court and council. He's yet again able to carry out his duties as Asturba. What are you? Oh, Quam claims. Yeah, come on. I really want that place. I also want Luristan, though. Maybe I should just take Luristan and be done with it. Come on. It is the same value, and this does have a second castle. We will be able to have six castles all together. I mean, the men the men size doesn't really allow for that. <clears throat> now we currently have, but we can get there. Okay, so this is the only war that we can really fight in. Okay, we've got seven bucks. Uh, and some piety, too. Why? Is that a... Yeah, that is a Sunni. He's Sunni. So that is definitely a fight for Sorest Risen. What? Are we... Are we at war with... These guys? Giant Ray. No, it doesn't look like it. No. Just just looked odd that the that the borders were were different, but I guess that is something to do with the with the whole empire. Uh, how how are the Byzantines doing? You did not win um, against the other guys, I guess. Okay then. Ooh, shake them of Quam. Yes, we will do that. It's just it's gonna be good if we have three of those. Do you have any alliances? Princess of Arabian Empire. Emir of Jubal, that's not a problem. No, yeah. He just has his wife's as as help. These are dark days. My wife has been growing weaker and weaker over the last few weeks. No! And I've just been informed that her affliction is indeed consumption. Call the court physician at once. Help my wife. I shall give you a concubine if you manage to do uh, something good there for her. Or maybe to send you some money. I, I don't know, but I'm going to do something for you, my good man. Something very nice. I promise. You won't regret it. Yay! Since I've came to Hamadan, we've never had a shortage of soldiers reinforcing our troops. They know that fame and fortune awaits. Yeah, because I'm apparently still a marshal. Send a letter to my liege. What are we fighting over here? Army of Mirza. Hamazabit revolt. Oh, we have a revolt in there? Okay. Well, it doesn't concern me. I hope that I can actually get to a retinue rather quickly. Um, how's our attack currently? Legalism. Yeah, we're not doing really well because we're not a... Um, we're not a duke, so we're not gaining any independent uh, advances there. <clears throat> which is kind of nasty. But we still have enough troops to siege all those holdings down, which is great. We're already at 83%, so uh, we're taking the city of Tehran, which is going to be good. And then we're going to take that castle. Everything is going exactly as I planned it. <laughs> uh, all right, I guess we can go to a little bit of a faster speed. This thing is going down. But if we have an epidemic or um, something else that kills our... Yeah, uh, told you. Okay, um, he's down to 100% though, so we don't really have to siege down the... Although it would give us some moral authority if we did siege down that mosque. So tell you what, we're actually going to bring our guys back home. I don't want him to give up, I want to siege down that mosque. Come on. Request council support. You? The guy I'm just at war with wants me to support him in the council? Fuck off, come on. You're just crazy, man. That should do it, 591. Oh, 
I'm missing a commander. Under pressure from a powerful faction, Prince Almadi of the Abbasid Empire. My liege has agreed to increase the power of the council. What? That's not good. Come on. Don't gamble away my rights. That's just not good. Oh yeah, I want to take out that mosque. Uh, we definitely got to convert that place too. It's going to be very difficult to convert um, Islam. No, 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 I I misclicked. I wanted to switch. Oh, this is actually a Zoroastrian place. So I guess I'm just going to take away this mosque then. Yeah, that was that was super stupid. That was super stupid. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Mm, what I could do is I could just hire some, some troops. Nah, screw it. Screw it. We're just gonna we're just gonna win this. And force it, we gain a hundred prestige. Okay. So now I have two shakedoms, which is great. Uh two shakedoms that probably won't still give me any retinue here. No, we're still at forty five. I can go for a rally point now. Uh, we're gonna have Asfahan as our as our rally point. Although yeah, no, let's remove it. It's actually kind of dangerous to have that if you're not a big empire, because you can easily lose some, some troops. Cannot build a trade post in there. Um, can only build Silk Road trade posts in certain counties along the Silk Road. Um, what's the next one? This one over here, and then Tabriz. Yeah, I've got to gotta make sure that I get a bunch of those. Um, how are the De Jure duchies? Like, Okay, so we have the Duchy of Galan, we have the Duchy. So each of these duchies has one. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, I guess that's I guess that's fine. We're just gonna take one one other, like maybe Tabriz, or maybe one upwards of the stream. Maybe Merv over here. I have I have no idea, but we're gonna we're gonna get there. But we've definitely increased our power base now, so that's that's great. That is just uh, great. Without a doubt, we also have a claim on this place. How many troops can you bring? Do you have any pacts? Shake them of Quam. No, it's not a problem. I do want this place, so... Oh yeah, and I definitely have to take that away from the... I, I don't want a mosque. I have to revoke that title. If I'm safe. Other vassals will lose minus 15 though. He's not going to revert. Yeah, we have to fight with that. Um, there's another mosque. So I will definitely have to take away those mosques and put Zoroastrian rulers on there. Maybe not right now. Maybe we actually want to keep a stable realm until we do some stuff. Well, why are you missing seclusion with their court? I mean, I got other options. Just saying. So you're now an option. And you're going to fabricate a claim on Luristan. Because we already have a claim on Quam now. And I think we're gonna make that second move too. Like we're just gonna we're just gonna move on these guys. Um so how's how's our how are our troops? Uh yeah, okay. I guess we gotta regenerate a little bit. Um especially these guys. So you um I'm your heir. No, Prince Al Hardy is the heir. Really? That should not be a thing. Let's see if it actually corrects itself once the month ticks over. Hmm. Well, can we kill you? Can we kill you? Is that a thing? I mean, just a devious, devious man. Let's, let's auto-invite the plotters. Okay, 94. Probably only need one additional person. Yeah, the other guy is always secluding himself. That's not great. Cannot assign a new job. You're, you're still doing things, right? Yeah, okay. Good, good. Um, I mean, 10 is not amazing in terms of skill, but we're still fine. <laughs> we'll probably need to start plotting to get a um, higher level title too. You only have that one title, right? So, I mean, he's, he's not overly strong. He shouldn't be able to pull many troops. Like, what do you have? 
Totally clever of Shake Easy of Quam. 481. And I have 828. So I should be e easily able to to take him on and actually eat him. I don't I probably don't even need to kill that guy. Seems that the spy master of Prince Al Mahdi of the Abbasid Empire has been sent to Hamadan to investigate rumors of a plot. Maybe he should be silenced before he finds out about my plot to kill Wali Nazar of Hashgut. That might be necessary. Nah, we're not gonna risk it. Uh, I'm actually gonna end my I'm actually gonna end my plot. I don't need that one. It's fine. So, but the other guy is, uh, is making a move against me. So that's not good. That is not good. I definitely have to be careful or lose my head. A large merchant caravan from a distant lands has arrived at the gates of your stronghold. Their leader, a jovial man of massive girth, pleads with you in a strange accent to grant them shelter from the elements of the night. Okay, you may. As evening falls, the fat merchant sits by the fire and regales you and the rest of the court with stories of his travels. His appetite seems insatiable, but as you do not wish to prove a poor host, you order your servants to bring in a second serving. Tell us more about this mythical realm of Hindustan. Dawn breaks and the caravan prepares to move on. The merchant insists on leaving you a gift as thanks for your great hospitality. He shouts a terse command in a foreign language and a young man comes forward. This eunuch will serve you well, the merchant says. His loyalty to you, his new master, shall be beyond reproach. Okay, I have a eunuch named Bakr. Okay, welcome to the court. Oh, very good in terms of stewardship. I like it. And I'm getting this. Oh, wait. What is that? Wait, wait. Um... Oh, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. Oh, yeah, that was my, my eunuch. There are many mysteries in the Zoroastrian faith. It might be interesting to spend some time delving into the old texts of the Garthas. I will dedicate more time to reading the scriptures. Indeed. And another heresy. Let's snap out of it. Come on. Stop the heresy. We still have consumption in our in our place. It's, um, yeah. Tuberculosis is what that is. Let's hope we don't die of that. I will kind of... Rain on my parade. That would be rather nasty, actually. He's in seclusion. I mean, we could also go in seclusion. But I'm probably safe, since I'm not even in Esfahan. I'm in Hamadan to train troops, so probably nothing's going to happen to me until that jumps over. Hmm. Next time, we're probably going to take over Quam, because I have the claim, and I can raise, I mean, 639... Um, plus these guys, so 700, yeah, 750 is what I can pull. I could still wait a little bit, but it's probably not necessary. It is probably not necessary to wait a little bit. And then, I mean, the only one left in the duchy, if we take Quam and that place, um, is our liege lord, and we're much stronger than him. So we'll probably be able to dispose of him and take him out, hopefully. <coughs> and once we control the duchy... We can actually try to make a move for the crown of Persia, which currently is not being owned by anyone. So, ah, cannot create or usurp a title of the same or higher rank as your lieges. Yeah, we need two duchies. Definitely going to take care of that. Probably take something over here. And then we're going to move on to, to actually bring Persia back, take those holy sites, reform the Zoroastrian faith, and then we'll see what comes um, from the east. Maybe we actually make a bit of uh, an attack on India, take those rich Indian provinces or, or something. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. For now, we're still a lowly count, but at least we have two counties now. That has increased our power quite a bit. So, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you didn't, tell me why in the comments so I can improve. And if you want to see more of the series in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel. I hope you join me next time. Thanks, and bye-bye.